The goal is to get out of your head. Let me repeat that again. The goal is to get out of your head. So pretty much, I really believe that for us human beings, you know, for us to be as balanced as possible, as happy as possible, as content as possible, there needs to be a perfect synergy between our mind, our body, and our soul. Okay, let that sink in. We need to balance these three elements body mind and soul we spend a lot of time in our head way 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 too much time in our head you know what i mean we spend too much time in our head is this recording let me see (laughs) okay (laughs) just double checking so we need to we need to bring ourselves back into our body whenever i do that i always feel instantaneously better okay and just sprinkle some like good stuff for the soul and that's and then we're golden so let me tell you exactly what i do Whenever I'm feeling in a funk, this was inspired by yesterday. Yesterday, I was really feeling really in a funky mode and I approached it in a very analytical way and I was really so proud of myself and that kind of inspired today's, you know, um, talk with you girls and I'm excited. Let's dive into it. So have a morning routine. Morning routines are so important, by the way. Yeah, I know there's so many fancy videos on YouTube showing you fancy morning routines. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's just you have to just sit down and build the best morning routine for yourself. And I'm all for romanticizing your life. I even made a video about that. Go listen to that. Go watch that. Whichever form you, you know, you're consuming this content right now. But I'm a queen of romantization okay so there's nothing wrong with that the point is have a morning routine okay it really helps it helps kind of gives like a compass like a nice way to start the day you know and you feel amazing it gives you order and structure and i personally i know i thrive in structure and routine so the first thing i do is i meditate right um i start with my gratitude journal that I I absolutely love and I notice that it really elevates my mood throughout the day because I've kind of practiced my my mind to being grateful for things you know what I mean and the more you do it the better it gets and then the more you receive things to be grateful about anyways that's a whole other topic but my point is first thing I do whenever I'm in a funk I I always make sure that I do follow my routine the very least i meditate right let's say you've already done your your morning routine whatever it is and then it's afterwards that you start feeling in a funk i would literally take a second and meditate i would sit down on my couch and meditate the meditation that i've been following lately i'm kind of really i'm not too i just i roll with the flow i'm not that you know i'm not a purist when it comes to meditation i just take whatever meditation i feel like but lately i've been i discovered um i think the name is deepak chopra who's supposed to be really big in the mindfulness you know space but i just discovered about him recently so there is a 21 meditation guided meditation for abundance that he has on spotify that is free and i i start by listening to it it lasts about 15 minutes and it really it's been really making me feel really really great it's like such a nice way to bring back awareness into the now and just clear out you know like negative energy and stuff and i feel like really really great so that's the first thing i do meditate and then like i said at the beginning right the goal is to get out of the funk by getting out of our head and focusing back into the body so how i do that is i always make sure to move my body now i always make sure to move my body early in the morning the second i'm done meditation which is literally my gratitude journal i'm doing it on the bed by the way i really do a morning routine if you want to see me do an actual video of my morning routine just let me leave me a comment or send me a message or whatever Leave leave a comment like this like this video um this podcast and i will follow up on that and release a video on that but um i always make sure to move my body in the morning if i if i enter a state of funk somehow throughout the day then i will stop and i will have a movement break where i would play my favorite dance my favorite song you know um i even have specific songs that i listen to to get myself out of a funk you know what i mean so i'd play that and i have different 
songs for different moods. It's, it's a whole system. Okay. So that's what I do. Okay. Um, so I always make sure to move my body. And what I noticed lately is let's say the funk is extra funky. <laughs> and I noticed that I need slow movement. You know, so I'll get on my mat, on my stretching mat. I have a little clip about that. I'll probably insert. I'll get on my yoga mat. Well, I don't have a yoga mat. Two year killing step. It's more like those thick stretching foam mats, whatever you want to call them. I get on it. I play some slow R&B ish thing. Doja Cat. She has a lot of good songs, by the way. Um, Sa, how you pronounce her name? You know body walker summer walker i'm always butchering her name you know this type of um groove and then i'll just like just move my body in waves move my head my shoulders like you know just all sorts of things and just just shake it off and i swear it's instant instantaneous it's like magic so i really believe in getting out of your mind because we spend so much time in our mind way too much time in our mind contemplating things that will never happen what if this happened and then 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 so many worries that never actually happen so that's why i absolutely love this whole like getting out of the brain thing and back into the body okay so and one thing i already do i make sure to eat a protein breakfast every morning honestly this is a game changer for me okay i my ideal protein is let's say eggs with salmon sometimes i'll even have a more lunch type type of breakfast sometimes i'll have a bowl of shrimps and potatoes avocado for my breakfast. I'm not even kidding. This is where I feel at my best. Whenever I have those meal, those nice breakfast meal, I mean, they're not typical breakfast type, but like I, the goal is I try my best to have 50 gram of protein. People are like, what? Yes, I know. 50 gram of protein in the morning for breakfast. It just starts my mood and it keeps my hormones really balanced. I am a firm believer of this, honestly, because the days that I don't do it, the days I'm in a rush, the days that I don't make time to do it, I can really feel like my energy crashing and just being very sluggish and just like not where I like to be, okay? So I always try to at least get 50 gram of protein, at least 30 gram of protein, okay? Um, What else do I do? Mm. Another thing that I do. Isn't this mug really, really cute? I mean, this little thingy really, really cute. I told you, romanticize your life, okay? Why do you have to drink in an ugly coffee cup if you can just, like, drink in something that makes you happy every time you pick it up and then you take a sip and it's just like, mm. I'm telling you girls, it's those little moments that make life absolutely fun amazing exciting it's those little moments because life is mostly made of of you know tiny mundane moments for those listening to this podcast is it's actually me holding a very cute white and gold you know coffee mug so back to the topic um one thing i another thing i do is i listen to music ladies music is my life okay i don't know what i would do without music music is the answer to your problem keep on grooving oh my god seriously like ah, i hope i don't get copyrighted for this you can't get copyrighted by just singing a song right anyways i absolutely no i can't wait second i'm done with this i'm actually gonna play this and it's gonna put me in such a good mood i absolutely love music if you love music just just go deep into it just just try to like you know what I mean? Just just find what makes you happy and just amplify it. Do more of it, you know? So music, guys, don't play on this. Like they say, music is the answer. Don't play on that. It's literally a way for you to uplift your mood and just like, just on and ride those endorphins for the rest of the day. You need to pick me up, listen to something else. And you're just like in a good mood. And it's just, it's free. It's like, like healthy drugs, but free. Uh, like, Hello? something else that i do whenever i'm in the funk okay i literally have a funk playlist i'll probably i should probably post about it like top 10 songs i listen to that instantaneously get me out of the funk 
Ooh, I should make a reel about that. An Instagram reel. Um, so yeah, what else did I do? I do. I can't even recognize my handwriting. Ooh, 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 that's a big one. Be aware of your window. I started paying attention to my windows and I realized that there is a window where I I just <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just I I just I go here and I'm like and to me, because I'm actually a morning person, right? I wake up at 4 a.m., 4.35. I'm a morning person. And by 9 p.m., I'm crashing really hard. But what I notice is my window, there's a window between 12 and 4. That is really hard for me. I'm like, Ugh, I just don't really have energy. I'm like, mm, I'm, I don't want to do anything. All I want to do is sit down and scroll on Instagram, which I don't really do that often but I, i've caught myself doing that a couple of times it's just it's just like mm, you know what i mean um a good thing is my instagram feed is banging watch the video i made a video about that about how you can make instagram work for you but still it's just i, I didn't like that window so my point is i was i became really mindful about that and i place i move things around and i put you know some specific tasks during that window to kind of keep control of that little window of my in my schedule so now what i do between 12 and 4 i realize that i'm either practicing some dance because i'm a dancer um you know planning a choreography or something like that or i'm at the coffee shop writing articles working on my blog so that's what has been working for me and then after that i head to the gym you know for like my training and stuff like that so that's the goal, the point that I'm trying to make here is be aware of your day. Take ownership of your day. Take ownership of your schedule. Don't just like be like a leaf, like a loose leaf in the wind, just being drifted left and right with no aim and just no purpose and no, I'm not saying purpose as what is your purpose in life? No, no. When I mean purpose here, I mean, what is your goals for, what is your goal for the day? What are you doing next? What are you planning to do? No, 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 no. If your goal is to do nothing, then your goal is to do nothing. Be mindful about that. And you know, that's the plan to do nothing, but be in charge. That's what I'm trying to say. Be in charge of what you can control because there's so many things that we can control already. Let that go. Just write the flow. But the stuff that we can control, just be mindful about them. Because I find that whenever I'm mindful about my day-to-day -day life, my day-to-day -day schedule, oh my God, it pays back so much and i'm so happy and i'm so grateful by the way i remember like i need to put my laundry outside to dry adhd gang what can i say a million things in the mind at the same time which is why i need to like i said i need to plan things and schedule things so i can kind of you know give myself a routine and yeah, even having a routine for whenever I'm in the funk, which is the inspiration of this video. Anyways, back at it. <laughs> Set, you that you digressing right now. <laughs> okay, um, what is next? Um, so yeah, and this next point never really fails. I go for a walk. I really, really love walking. I love walking so much. People don't get it. Uh, I, I just love walking. Walking is so nice. You play a podcast. Or, you know, you just listen to some music. You just wander around, just feeling the breeze, paying attention to the trees, the changing of colors, the leaves, the water, the people, people watching what's happening, watching the day go by, watching the clouds, enjoying a nice, you know, stopping by a coffee shop, enjoying a nice cup of coffee. To me, that's just like instant instant mood booster i'm telling you girls instant just like that like magic um so yeah get out of the house get out of the house okay get out of the house if you notice the theme of this today is two point get out of your head get out of the house period get out of your head get out of the house get out of your head by moving get out of the house again by moving <laughs> it's like everything we do we get back to moving like who would have thought you know oh my god limit your interaction with negative people i am ruthless lately in the people that i let into my life i spent way too many years of my life being a people pleaser right now we ain't got no time for people pleasing anymore this is like no more big x 
XXX, okay? I'm like, no, okay? So limit, limit, just just stop, just stop it. It's draining, it's draining, it, it's just, it's fucking draining, okay? <laughs> This is how much this thing just gets out of me. Like, no, there's so many people out there that are waiting to take advantage of you. It is your responsibility, first and foremost, to be a representative for yourself. Because if you don't be, if you don't show up for yourself, no one else will. Okay. And also, how cute are my nails today? I think it's so cute. Um, so limit your interaction with negative people okay and oh do your nails maybe i don't know if you're a girly who really enjoys doing the nails that is also another way to like get out of a funk do your nails like explore new colors new stuff i, I don't usually do black usually i do pink but now i'm rocking a shiny black and hey it still makes me happy so like focus on the little things and i'm like ah, you see you know what i mean anyways um so yes I want you to craft your day around what makes you happy. Find what makes you happy and amplify it. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be like my, it doesn't have to be record, you know, world record breaking, life changing. It could be the little things. Like I said, like I really enjoy going to the coffee shop and enjoy my little cup of like, mm, like it could be like tea, it could be latte, it could be whatever. Just, oh, just those little tiny routines start appreciating them because they are sacred okay they're sacred this is all i had for you today don't forget to like this like leave a comment let me know if there's anything else that you already do there's anything else that you could relate with anything else that you know you're gonna like add to your little list i'm always curious to see what else other girlies are doing out there so let me know if this really inspired you and i cannot wait to see you in the next one this is all i have for you today and thank you so much for checking in and yeah take care of yourself okay girly you have to love yourself first no one else will love you better than you can love yourself bye Mwah.